and welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes. To the first page. Let me start from the beginning. It was a hundred years ago. Calamity Ganon has already swallowed Prince Zilda. Mm. Dr. Pura <laughs> and I have already taken Link to the Shrine of Resurrection and left him to recover. Well, she the, conveniently why, left you out. Why didn't you fuck it? Yeah, she did. Also, why didn't... Why was he like, you ain't Link. He's been gone for a hundred years. You took us there. You knew where we were. I mean, yeah, but anyone, any Joe could come and be like, I'm Link. Not People seem to not fucking know who the goddamn fuck Link is, except for, like, uh, the hero. Like, true. that's all they fucking remember them as. Like, he's like, I'm Link. So, like, at least having the name in the first place would fucking be a green light. And, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pura and I departed for Kakura Village, where we left in Lady Impa. All three of us couldn't stay together, of course. We couldn't risk calling the game and getting all of us in one strike. That's fair, I guess. If that happened, there'd be no one left to deliver Princess, Princess Zelda's message to Link when he recovered and woke up. We had to ensure that at least one of us would be able to talk to him. And look, all of you survived. Congrats. So, Dr. Pura and I set out to survive as long as we could. We were lucky. We found large amounts of ancient energy in Nekluda and Akala regions we could continue our research just as we had in hyro castle we could again set ourselves to finding some way to seal calamity again in a way we decided who would go where and the only way rock paper scissors <laughs> only on okay. paper i set out for akala soon after what did you get like fucking did you lose hardest i guess so i was all set to go to akala but first i decided to go with dr pura to the ancient energy source in nekluda Actually, that implies I had any choice. Dr. Fur laid on a pretty heavy guilt trip when I suggested her going alone. In a world as dangerous as ours, are you seriously asking me to travel alone? She's so damn pushy. Or darned. Eh. <laughs> Fucking Nintendo. Anyway, which, speaking of, I'm playing Mass Effect and I choose a fucking option or whatever, and my fucking writer literally just goes, to fuck with that, or something <laughs> that I was like, whoa, that was such like an easy breezy fuck that I did. <laughs> I'm so unused to it in video games right. that, like, when, like, the Inquisitor said it at one point, I was like, okay, the serious times right. mean serious words. And then, like, in this, I was like, that was just almost, it was almost too casual. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Final Fantasy puts in blood in one of their games, and everyone's like, whoa. We're like, holy shit, man. <laughs> whoa. And then, like, fucking Final Fantasy 15, no blood again. Yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. But anyway, they say things like fucking pleb and shit, so I guess I fucking, that makes up for that, because that's also a weird, jarring aspect <laughs> of Final Fantasy. Anyway, Dr. Pura promised Lady Impa that they'd meet again someday. Then she and I set out from Kakaro Village. But not before loading a cart with guidance stone with the guidance stone Dr. Purr had been using at Hyrule Castle. We traveled for some time, south of the pillars of Liv Livia or Livia, across Lake Celia and through Blatchery Plain. I read that as Blackberry and I'm just like mm, Blackberry. I, I, I read it as something, but I can't remember. <laughs> already. It was already irrelevant enough. Then we came upon Fort Hateno. Link had battled an army of guardians there, and it was where he had been defeated. Aw. <laughs> now we know of his demise. Yeah. <laughs> and master swordsman such as Link, who'd impressed King Rome enough to be made Princess Zelda's personal knight, he was like, his fucking gallantly hair gliding over his golden <laughs> <laughs> golden curls. Just, and he's like, fucking everybody. Yeah, Link's like, I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> yeah. Link is like, I know I'm damn good looking. <laughs> Well, even someone like that has their limits. I'm sorry, Link. So I spent so much of my time researching the Guardians. Even with all my knowledge, I wasn't able to give you the weapons or power you need to succeed. Those were my thoughts as I looked upon the broken husks of the Guardians strewn about Fort Hateno. Lost in my thought. Well, fucking Passling could do better than us. Yeah. <laughs> I look at lost in my thoughts. I didn't notice that Dr. Pura had slipped away. I knew Hateno Village wasn't much further along the road and that the Calamity had barely touched that area, so I felt safe letting her continue on her own. We parted ways without even saying goodbye, I suppose. Jeez. Stirring myself back into action, I set out on my own journey back toward Kakaro Village. When Dr. Pura escorted safely to Hateno Village, it was time for me to head to my new home in Akala. I returned to Kakaro Village to collect the remaining guiding stone, then I immediately set out for Akala. I made my way through the Lander wetlands and headed towards Tur Turino. Turno. Turneo. Turneo. Yeah, Trail. Whatever. 
And, you know, once I crossed the Akala Span, I would officially be in Akala. Well, one would think was the name Akala Span. <laughs> the autumn leaves brought some joy to my spirit as I crossed Shadow Pass and then headed north on Ordorak Quarry. Christ. Just fucking say, I got here. <laughs> Akala is known for its stretches of nothing. So I set out hoping that that would still be the case. I... I was attacked by a guard. It was the one right outside. Yeah. By guarding here and there, but I remembered I spent my life studying them. Dispatching them individually was no challenge at all. Was it? Thanks, you fucker. In time, I reached the lighthouse on Akala. What a perfect place to keep an eye of a monster out there. I uploaded my guardian guidance stone and settled into my new home. And so began my life of solitary research. I knew I had to continue to research the ancient soldier gear for Link. He could wake at any time. I quickly said, but I'm going to ask him 70 questions before I fucking <laughs> believe it's him. Make him undress. He just really wanted to see your body. Probably. Like, mm, yeah. He's like, I've gotten no action out here in the middle of nowhere. He's a stiffy and then turns to his wife. Let's fuck later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> I quickly settled on a routine. First, I would carry the blue flame from Talmia Heights. Next, I would melt the ancient materials, refine the result, and then shape it into an ancient soldier gear. It's difficult to say how much progress I made on my research. The routine demanded so much focus day after day. But then I had a clever thought. I realized I could automate the entire refinement process. It took some significant work, but I was able to successfully remodel the guidance stone. Thanks to my effort, it I, I it can refine any ancient material inserted into it and offer something in return. I named this machinery or machine Cherry after the first girl I ever loved. And her cherry. Yeah, and I popped that shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to. <laughs> My research didn't end with the creation of Cherry. Not at all. I realized that if she was able to refine the ancient materials, there was no reason she couldn't also manufacture ancient soldier gear too. Anyone who can make ancient equipment. Anyone can make ancient equipment. I also decided that I wanted to be able to give her a voice so she could speak. I was filled with ambition then, but it was no easy task to make my dreams a reality. Automating the manufacturing process was extremely difficult. It took me decades to figure out. I'll spare you the details of all the things that went wrong. Thank, Thank you. you, because you fucking have not spared us any other fucking detail. No, I think this is longer than Perro's journal. I'm fucking furious at it already. <laughs> but I will say it was complex enough that I had to put my desires to remodel Cherry back on the back burner for a while. Or on the back burner. Days and months came and went. Before I even realized it, I reached the ripe age of 90. I would, have been, I would have been lost in my work even then, but around that time, a young woman named Jaren arrived. She first trained with Dr. Pura, then Lady Impa had sent her to aid me. She had quickly proved herself quite capable. She carried the blue flame from Talma Heights, and even when we worked, I improved my designs for Cherry. The very fact that she had trekked all the way from Kakaro Village alone proved she was no ordinary girl. She somehow got past the Guardian that was right outside. Her, both of them did. Like, you could disable it so easily dude and you den it you fuckhead yeah. her intellect her spirit in hindsight is it any surprise that we eventually ended up married mm. thanks to jaren's redesign cherry was soon crafting ancient soldier gear perfectly and speaking beautifully she well, fucking can't say my name <laughs> she spoke better than any machine i'd ever heard it would have been hard to tell she wasn't a native hylian besides everything else about her if I said, good morning, she'd respond with a sweet, good morning, Robbie. And she was helpful. Cherry, where'd I leave my book? It's the third book from the right on the second shelf, Robbie. She also knew to ask if she needed something. Robbie, could you increase the furnace heat a little? I'd always go personally to fetch more blue flame from Tom. Tel- Tel- to Malia Heights. I didn't realize her interactions hurt someone. That someone was Jerry. Perhaps <sighs> it was due to her namesake, but my exchange with Cherry hurt Jaren. Despite the fact that she knew Cherry was only a machine, she felt she still felt uneasy with my interactions with her. She was in tears when she told me. She knew it made little sense, and yet she couldn't help how she felt. I was devastated. I hadn't even realized the pain I was causing. Although Jaren has designed cherry she was now being hurt by her own creation we agreed to restore cherry to her original mechanical way of speaking i took it upon myself to make the changes from there on I was careful not to refer to her as cherry doing so would anger my wife instead i called her ancient oven 
<laughs> Sometimes <laughs> later, Jerry gave birth to a baby boy, a beautiful young one who bore all the features of his mother. We decided to name him Grante, <laughs> and together we passed down time as a happy family at Akala Ancient Tech Lab. It was unfortunately only a temporary piece. Princess Zelda did her best to contain Calamity Ganon. Around the time Garante turned three, a letter from Dr. Pura arrived. It was a shock to receive it. I'm sad that male guy isn't in here. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. Having but, them chase us down. Yeah. Oh, Link! Link! The last time she'd written, it was to talk about an assistant from Kakuro Village whom she felt was useless. I wonder who that is. <laughs> the one slapping his yeah. face with the fucking <laughs> chica slate. But she was writing now to let me know she'd complete research on powering up runes like stasis. Hearing this reinvigorated. Re- 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 oh, re- I can. Th- my brain's going, yes, reinvigorated, but my mouth is going, fuck it, slow down, Turbo. <laughs> my interest in researching ancient soldier gear. <sighs> Grante grew fast, and it wasn't long before he towered over me. He loved to carry Blue Fly from Tom- Tomlia Height, calling it a chance to train his body. I could see the curiosity in his eyes, and so I encouraged him to travel the world and see how... And see as much as he could. He'd always been independent, but I was still surprised when the very day I told him to travel, he fucking left. <laughs> Writing about Grante's training reminds me. A few days after, or before he left, I thought it might be a good idea to have Grante settle with Dr. Pura or study. I wrote to her to ask what she thought of such an idea, and she sent a letter that simply said, fuck no. you, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, you piece of shit. I wonder what happened to her to make her say such a thing. The fact that she's <sighs> probably 12. That was 12 minutes of solid fucking reading. I hated it. Every single <laughs> fucking minute. Christ. Don't you dare talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was glad oh. to know her. My favorite. <laughs> Gonna build a lot of those in our fucking tower Minecraft right. server. I was oh, gonna say yeah. Skyhold, but I was like, it's not. I mean, kind of a Skyhold. It's yeah. on top of a mountain. That's Where are you going, champ? Up here, I guess. <laughs> kind of trying. Great. <laughs> Made it. That's straight up a fucking a maze. That is a shrine. You probably have the maze to get in there. Yeah. I would guarantee you have the maze. Do you want to at least check it out? Fuck it. We're here. Might as well. I'm wondering if you can get in effectively. Well, like I it. will drown in the ocean if uh, I don't make it. He seemed to be doing good. Oh, it just is massive. All these guys. The fuck? I've never seen these before. Oh, yeah, no. I've encountered them uh, twice now. Once was I was near Hyrule Castle and I said, fuck this shit, I'm out. And then the other time was getting up uh, one of the towers that actually gave me this area. Yeah, think. <laughs> Like, when we're looking directly at it, you think it would go like, blink, 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 blink. So... You're gonna, like, just make it? Yeah. Phew, thank goodness I have upgraded my stamina wheel. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to make... Oh. Oh, this is just, like, a straight-up shrine. Okay. Like, fully. Oh, just trying what? Hey now, bro. It's a walking one, too. So this is gonna be a question of fucking sneaking. Yeah. You are all around this corner? You know what I'm going to do, though? Turn that shit off. <laughs> I don't want it blinking at me when I fucking know where I'm goddamn going. There's uh, one entrance. Do you want me to maybe look up how to get through? Let me fail a couple times okay. first. <gasps> Apparently he can walk around things. Oh yeah, no, they're, they're quicker than... Please be too fat. He didn't. <gasps> Impressive. Okay. We got keys. 
And I nice. No arrows. All right, come at me, bitches. Or just sneak. They might yeah, not come at you if you sneak. Fuck it. Any single action, he just stands up. Dude, I like standing up too. I, I should do it more uh, these last couple of days because my fucking thigh has been hurting. Yeah, mine too. I actually, um, at work today, I stood up for the last like 45 minutes and just stood there. Dude, you should get one of those fucking like bicycle things for fucking under your desk. Oh yeah, they have they have one that actually looks fun too now. That's mm -hmm. like a s fucking swing for your legs, essentially. Oh, yeah. yeah, you just swing it the fuck around or whatever, and like that helps exercise and keep mo movement and shit like that right, going. Right. It's like maybe that would be a good idea, and that no, might not would. that might not distract you too much too. Like the the bicycle ones, I feel like would distract me, but the swinging, I fucking because I'm five foot fucking two, right, already right. swing my goddamn legs. So, well, and like the thing with me too is um. I actually work better if I have something to fiddle with. Yeah. Which so that would that'd be kind of a fiddle thing. Yeah, no. Exactly. Which some of my coworkers don't understand, but it's like, for me, it's like, I know you don't understand. You also did that a lot in school where you'd like draw mm -hmm. and fucking oh, yeah. like listen. Can I cheat this? Oh, actually, probably completely. Except which side is the side that I want to get to, to, uh, but... I'm actually... Wait, is... Okay, no, there are multiple ways in, I think. I'm I on the wrong side. I li No, there's, there's, like, look at the very top thing up there. If you continue left and get out to that far, that... No, that's probably a wall. The left side is completely... If <gasps> oh, 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 I see the fucking issue now. Because I'm looking, I'm thinking the darker areas are, um... Where you're supposed the to pathways. be. Yeah, pathways, but those are the no. walls. Yeah, no. Because there's, like, there's multiple, like, ways in, it looks yeah, like. No. Literally, you can't get in on the left side. Um, If this thing is accurate and there's no, like, tunnels that you can run under. That's fair. Which would be kind of bullshit if they didn't have tunnels that you could run under. Just, just be completely like, uh, nope, you can't go into the left side. Half of me hopes there is, just because it's kind of bullshit, too, that you have... I mean, once you get the tower for this area, also, you can just see it. Like, there's only one path. There's literally only one path. And I know which one to get into to get to that pathway. Do you want to just go to that other pathway? Because it's this one right here. If this is the one that gets us in. Yeah. Because I don't know. I don't know. Because the shrine's above us. Um, so, well, that's the only one that reaches the shrine too. Yeah. That's, that's the only one like, that, that connects the that to we can get the to. rest. Yeah, exactly. Unless there aren't any tunnels. Unless there's like some arches or something. Yeah. Well, wait, look on the fucking thing. Look on the map again. I did. Which one did we have to walk under? Cause we had to walk under an arch for this fucking keys. We went in that low pause. I know which one we went. In. Okay. We went in that fucking second to that one just to the right, a little bit under, it, it, like the right of you. Yeah. Just down. Down a little. It, it's like right in there, essentially. Okay. It's the one that, uh, but basically we, we started in that opening that's in the middle. Right, right. So it's like we, we went through one of these. I think that we was blocked went, off. The keys was like right in front of us when we turned the corner. So it's probably we went through like right here and just slid out right around here yeah i think that's exactly what happened yeah. so that means that yes there are yeah i want that's what i wanted to check out mostly i wanted right. to make sure like does it appear on the map right right my question is is what do those uh so, so well my my thing is i'm hoping they're faking us out i'm hoping they're not faking us out but i'm hoping they're faking us out by fucking making it seem like the only connecting way is, on is the, that one like really yeah long? but in reality there's fucking 50 yeah multiple ways in <laughs> they all lead there yeah in the end my problem with mazes is that i will just literally just run in a circle i do get turned around a whole bunch oh yeah 
That's why I'm here. I'm good with directions. And I've been watching the little mini map, too. Oh, I guess this was the outside wall. Yeah. I would go the other way, maybe, first. Because you're going down. I'm doing the uh, left. Left wall. Method. Oh. Uh, Which is long, but it gets you there in the end. Oh, no. I was just... I, oh, hey, I'm trying to get to the objective. So, I'm right. trying to... I'm trying to keep going towards the objective on the map. Right. And that was right for us. I was keep going straight. Yeah. But, yeah. But hey, I found a chest. You did find a chest. That's the that's it's the benefit to fucking. Not. And this is like fucking labyrinth of like, oh, it's just, you gotta change your perspective. There was a, like a, a, a pathway here the entire time. Is that? Blah. Are you talking about the movie Labyrinth? Mm. Or I've never seen it. Oh, that's right. You haven't. That's the one with David Bowie, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've literally never seen. As the Goblin King. Yeah. I've literally never seen a David Bowie thing past the fucking like <laughs> when he sings with Bing Crosby. When he what? Sings with Bing Crosby. Oh, okay. Who sings a lot of Christmas tunes? So like. You've heard the like, um, like like maka is the way, like the thing you say oh, yeah, on yeah. a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's Bing Crosby. Okay. That's the island greeting that we send to you on a land where palm trees sway. Na 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 mm. na. But and then so like silver bells, like that's Bing Crosby too. I think we did it somehow. I think there's multiple ways in, or this is fucking us in the end. Hmm. Fuck. Those also scared the shit out of me because I had no idea what they were. Didn't scare me, but just like I said, maybe go. Hmm. Here, you're also not the one playing and having to. Well, I knew there were spikes because you've seen those before. That's not that you guys were taken out by a fucking torch. Hmm. They're like the weakest mob. Pathetic! My question is where are we Yay. going? Oh, here we go. Activate that shit so first off. So there were two entrances. Oh, no, there might have been more. Because there's stairs all the way up, so there, maybe there was more than one. Oh, sorry. There's two entrances up here. Yeah. Like, they all connect the two yeah. entrances. Boop. Potentially. All right. My, my question, I would say Ooh. go in really quick. Because they said if you complete this labyrinth, then you get a fucking prize. So go in. You might just get a fucking... There doesn't seem to really be any, like, quest rewards, I've noticed. Because, like, I've done some side quests. There's no real reward. What do you mean? Like, you don't get anything from them. Like, the little kid where it's like, show me swords! You don't get anything from them. Not even, like, money or anything? No. Oh. I'm thinking this is just going to be like a walk to the thing because you finished the entire labyrinth. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because it went, finish the fucking shit. Do, do it and By you get shit. By entering this place, you've already proven your worth. Yeah. To be fair, though, I didn't run into any of those uh, searchlights. Yeah, which was nice. Although I do... <laughs> nice. But, like, that's why I was thinking, like, I mean, <laughs> at least a good sun visor. <laughs> but that's why I was thinking, also protects the ears. Uh, I mean, you were in your sneaky sneak, so that might have helped a whole that bunch. That is true. Although, I do know where there are some, so I could always, like, float down to them and be like, hey! <laughs> hey, uh, Hey! Cool. Well, that's a nice fucking, now you guys know how to fucking Woo! do it. If you could make sense of anything we were doing. Just run to the left. <laughs> it worked for me. Well, you weren't running to the left. You were running to the right a mm. lot to get up there. Following the left wall, let me rephrase. Oh, I was a. F I think that's such a bad idea in a labyrinth, except for like getting out because, uh, like I just go towards the destination. Sometimes you. Okay. I guess we'll guess they're just here. Um, I guess it's just fucking like night suddenly too like the lighting just like 100 yeah. percent change wait what's but that it opened a like torch. a torch no it opened a hole oh 
Well, I bet you ten bucks. It looks like air. Oh. I guess this is just a. It's a oh, quick it's probably way a up. quick way up. So they probably opened the little gate down there. Under that guy. Uh yeah. Um. Yeah, I about that dropping out down. Here. Yeah. Moral of the story is it's a good place to stop. And how do you feel about getting shot out of the sky? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll catch you guys on the next episode of uh, more story or whatever. So until then, bye.